Good morning, Stitchy friends. I'm Kelsey from the Cross Stitch Farmhouse, and this is floss tube number two. I'm excited to be back filming another video. I have so much to show you guys. My craft room desk is really full right now. Uh, before I get into everything, though, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to everybody who supported my first video, all the people who watched it subscribing to my channel. I've had so many amazing comments. Everybody's been very kind and welcoming and I'm just so happy to be a part of this community. I've met a few of you through on here. I've added me on Instagram as well and a lot of us like the same style stitching or we've found movies we both enjoy. Um, just it's so great to connect with other people who love this hobby but also have other things in common with me so again thank you all so so much i told my husband after i posted the first video that i would be happy if i had 10 or 20 people subscribe to my channel and last time i looked there were about 460 of you so totally mind-blowing i i honestly cannot even believe that that many of you are on here but I'm so thankful that you are, and I'm really excited to continue filming these and see where it goes. I hope you all have been staying safe. I hope you had a great holiday. We had a super fun break. Um, the kids were out of school for two weeks. My husband took a week off of work before Christmas, so that was nice to spend time with him. And then he works on a farm, and they got rained out. So basically the whole week after Christmas, he also got to stay home. So it was really great that he was here while the kids had their winter break. Um, we did a lot of movie time. Our, our kids love to have, they call them movie nights. And so we did a lot of that. Um, Christmas was great. We made it till midnight on New Year's. So that was fun. I stitched my way into 2022. Um, yeah, that's about all that's been going on. We kind of just stuck around the house and had a relaxing time. So that was nice. Um, I did have a couple of questions from the last video, so I'll go ahead and do those first. Um, a couple of you asked how often I will be posting. I'm planning on doing a video about every two to three weeks. Some weeks I get more stitching done than others, so I wanna make sure when I do film a video, I have plenty to show you and it's not just a quick 10 minute thing. So I think every two to three weeks would be doable for me. Um, can I turn closed captioning on? Yes, so I didn't even know that was a thing. Um, very new to YouTube, I, you know, I don't know how to do all that yet. So I looked it up. I believe I turned it on, so I'm hoping it should be working now. If it's not, my husband is very tech savvy, and after I get this video posted, if I notice that I, it's still not working, I will have him look and he can figure out how to do that. He's very good at that kind of stuff. So yes, I will, I will make sure it gets done. Thank you for letting me know. Um, I didn't even realize that that was a thing on here. Can I show my floss cabinet? Yes, yeah, so last time I talked about uh, my floss cabinet back here, and I'm hoping that I can attach a second, you know, short little two minute video after this floss tube. Um, and I'll kind of show you the inside of the drawers, not all of them, but just how I organize them in the drawer. I don't know if you can upload two videos at once. I'm not sure. Again, I'm very new to this. I will try and figure it out. But if not, I'll just give you a quick rundown right now of how everything is organized in there. So I actually got the cabinet from one of my mom's friends and she used it for her sewing fabric. And she had painted all the knobs, the colors and put coordinating fabric colors in the drawer. And so when she gave it to me, I thought, well, that would be perfect for all my threads. Um, I could just put, you know, the oranges in the orange drawer, golds in the gold, you know, you know what I mean. So that's what I've done so far. I like to keep my floss in little snack size Ziploc bags. Um, I know they have floss away bags and things like that. To me, Ziplocs are just so cheap. It's easy to grab the smaller size and, you know, put all my uh, threads in there. 
If I'm working on a bigger project, I really hate if there's two similar colors and you get a strand out to stitch and you have leftover. It gets all jumbled up and sometimes I can't tell, well, is that the, the darker or the lighter? So this is how I do it. I just put a little sticker. I label it with the number. These are DMC. Um, or Well, these are from a kit. I'm assuming they're DMC. But I put the number on here and just stick the floss in there so it stays organized. If I have leftover, it goes straight back in the bag and I don't have to wonder what color is where. And so I keep all my little Ziploc baggies in there. I also have DMC or classic color works that I haven't used yet that I just throw in the drawer on top. Each drawer has a card and it lists the DMC numbers or if I have classic color works, I'll write down the names of them so I can find what's in each drawer. Um, like I said, I'll try and do a, a short little video and attach it to the end of this and I'll show you inside just so visually you can see what I'm talking about, but that's all that is. Okay, and then I had one more question and this one was from Barbara Jordan and she asked, how much fabric do you need for Santa's Village? That really just depends on what count fabric you're using. So for me, I'm using a 28 count and all you really need to know is when you're doing them all as one big piece, the total stitch count. So it's 288 stitches wide by 268 stitches high. So as long as you know that, you can divide and do the math. So for me, I took the 288 and the 268, divided them both by 14, and that told me I would need a piece of fabric that was about 21 by 19 inches. So I bought a piece that was 27 by 36 inches, gives me plenty of border, and I will have a little bit of fabric left over. So I hope that helps you. Um, like I said, really, you just need to know that 288 by 268, and hopefully you can go from there. Okay, so I think that's all the questions that I had. So I will show you some previous finishes. I don't have a ton of winter stitching. That's one thing, um, that and Christmas, I really don't have a lot. I need to work on that, but I do have a couple. So the first one I'll show you, I don't have it on its frame. Um, it's one that has a magnet on the back that I just swap it out. But this is a hands-on design and Priscilla Blaine collaboration. It was from the Chalk Full series. And I couldn't find the chart to show you, but I know a lot of you will have seen this before. And this is the Snowy Jar. This was a really fun series. I did this on Black Ada. I was part of the Fat Quarter Shop Club that sent you this kit every month. Um, and so this was a really fun one. My kids like this one a lot. So that's in our living room. And then this one I also did, um, it's a Priscilla Blaine. Well, this one's uh, Stitching with the Housewives. So this is from them and it's the January Truckin' Along. And I don't have all my greenery in there yet. I need to pull it out, but I thought I would show you guys my stitching. Really cute one. Again, my kids love this. They love the cutesy snowmen. So those are super fun to have out in the living room for January, February. And I think I used all the called for on both of those. Okay, and then I did finish one of the projects I showed you in my first video. So this was Snow Days by Country Cottage Needleworks. Ooh, and I need to paint my nails. Ooh. And here's how I finished it. So this was a really fun one. I did it on that denim blue writ dyed fabric. And the only color that I swapped from the called for was the green. Once I started stitching, I realized that it just wasn't popping on that blue fabric with the called for color. So I swapped it out to Grape Leaf by Gentle Arts and I think it just darkened it up a tiny bit and made it more visible. I went uh, about two days ago, I had my husband take me to Hobby Lobby. I got the backing fabric to add the ruffle and I just really love how this one turned out. That snowman is huge, stitching a lot of white, got very <laughs> boring at some points, but so, so happy I got it done. 
I absolutely love it. And this is just a metal tray from Hobby Lobby. I believe I got it last year in the spring section and it doesn't have the number on it anymore, but it does show that it was $5.99. So I'm sure you'd be able to find this again this year. Okay, and then I did have a couple finishes, but they are not fully finished. So I will show you those. I have my Prairie Schoolers and my little Christmas bag I made. And I got three of these done this year. So the first one I started a couple years ago and I kind of just put it to the side and forgot about it. But once I started working on the 2021, I figured I'd pull it out and finish it too. So I'll show you this one first. It's the 2019 Santa. And here he is. Really cute. And I used all the called for on all of these and they are all on just coffee tea dyed 28 count Monaco. So then this is 2021. I had started this in my last video and here he is all done. Really love this one. I really, really love owls. So he's probably my favorite. And then I believe this one is the 1990 or 94. I don't remember, but it's part of this. And I did this guy. And here he is. So cute. I really want to do a prairie schooler tree. I have seen so many people on Instagram with them and they are so cute. I just don't know where in my house I would put it. I already have a big tree I do in the living room as just like our family Christmas tree. I have a tree in the kitchen. I just don't know where one would fit. So I'm thinking I might turn these into pillows and I could stitch maybe two or three more on the same fabric. I have enough left over so they'd all match fabric wise and turn them into little pillows and put them in a dough bowl. Um, over the winter break when my husband was home, I told him I think he should build me a faux fireplace in the living room. Um, <laughs> we're in California, so obviously we can't have a real fireplace. It, we just have a lot of non burn days. Um, and it, it doesn't get cold enough to justify it, but a little faux fireplace with an electric plug-in would be cute. And then I could have a mantle for my Santas and a double. So if you're watching, babe, I think we should make it happen. <laughs> Please make my stitchy dreams come true. Okay, and then I also finished this. It is, okay, my last video, um, I think I said Country Cottage Needleworks. I apologize. This is Little House Needleworks, Fall on the Farm. And I joined the Fat Quarter Shop Club. So in December, I got the first chart and all the floss for it. And I had already bought my fabric. So this is the first chart and it's Farm Fresh. And I got it finished up a couple days ago. I really love the colors on this one. Fall colors are my favorite. So this was super fun to work on. The white really pops on this fabric. So if you're debating which um, fabric to use, I highly recommend the 30 Count Portobello by Studio Line Linen. It's beautiful and it's been great to work with. Really excited for the next chart to come out from this series. I, I didn't want to stop stitching, but I had no more to stitch. <laughs> and I have this in my Dot Dot Goose bag. I love her bags. She's one of the first people I ordered a project bag from, and I highly recommend her. The quality is amazing. My bag that I made is nothing in comparison to hers. Super great. Highly recommend her shop. And I will link her in the show notes. 
Okay, and then my last finish is kind of a finish slash whip. It's my progress on Santa's Village by Country Cottage Needleworks. So I finished the first chart and I started the second. And so I'll show you the first chart again. And like I said in my last video, my plan is to do a chart a month and through 2022, so it should be done in time for next Christmas. And this is Point Set a Place, the second chart. And I will show you my progress. Again, I'm using all the called for. This is fabric that I dyed, and I really love how the white pops on this. I didn't get too much done from the second chart last night, but I got a little start. And I spent all day Monday and Tuesday cleaning the house, getting everything organized again after Christmas chaos. So after I film this today, I think I'm gonna plop down on the couch, turn on a favorite movie, and work on the second chart because mama needs a break. <laughs> I need some stitching time. Okay, now we'll move into just whips. So that was my first one. And I will show you this. I always pick a new start for um, New Year's. I always start something new and stitch it into the new year up until midnight. I try and make it. I've made it the past three years. So <laughs> um, this is what I worked on this New Year's. I really want to do stockings for everybody in my family. And so I'm starting with my husband's. I had him go online and pick one out that he liked. And he chose Holiday Glow Stocking from Dimensions. It says the gold collection. Ooh, trying not to get a glare. So give you a little close up. It's really cute. I'm really glad he picked this one. I liked it a lot. And this is what I got done on it for New Year's. I really love how Dimensions kits, you can do such a small area and already the detail and seeing how it's going to turn out. I love it. This has been a really fun one. I can't wait to work on it some more. I'm hoping to get it done by next Christmas. If I could do a stocking a year, I would be happy with that. So we'll see how it goes. And I'm with Ada. I like to use a Q-snap. That's just my preference. Um, and I found these awesome little magnets that a lot of you had recommended to hold the fabric down. I do have to keep them away from my cat. She's crazy and she's ate a couple so far. So <laughs> trying to keep those away from her, but such a fun stitch. Okay, and then my last whip, um, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. So this is a Harry Potter design. Uh, my husband and I actually had a little mini Harry Potter marathon while he was home. And we watched all the movies and I stitched on this a little bit. So that was really fun. I don't have a cover photo to show you guys. I got this chart off of um, a website that I had never ordered from before. It was an, I saw an ad on Facebook and it had said, it was like a buy three, get one free kind of deal. And so I clicked on it, just curious what kind of stuff they had. And a lot of the charts were cute. I only ended up ordering this one and I'm kind of glad I did only order one. I'm not too thrilled with the quality, I guess. Um, the website was crossinart.com. Maybe I've just had a bad experience, but when I got it, you can tell that it's gonna need a lot of back stitching and there's no back stitching instructions. So that was a little, wasn't too thrilled about that. But I'm gonna try and make it work just because I really liked the design. I would love to have a Harry Potter cross stitch up in this room. This is where I keep my nerdy stuff. It was what I like to call it. Um, all my Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, um, just things like that. So I'm gonna try and make it work. But I did use a different fabric than what the kit came with. The fabric I got in the kit was absolutely filthy. I didn't feel like washing it. It was an Ada, so I just swapped out to a linen. 
but here's what I have on this. Really cute so far. I'll kind of explain what else is gonna go into this just so it gives you an idea. So that's his cauldron. There's a scarf down here. This is gonna be a stack of spell books. His owl headwig goes here. There's a mandrake plant, a wand, parchment paper. If, if you watch Harry Potter, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But it's been a lot of fun. I love how it's turning out so far. Um, that cauldron to me is just beautiful, but you know, we'll see how it goes. Either way, I'm gonna finish it. It's just gonna be in this room for me to see, so I will enjoy it either way. Okay, so I'll get that in there. And I do have a little bit of haul. I got some stitchy gifts for Christmas, so I will show you those. And then I did purchase just a few little things. Um, my husband every year asks me for a wish list, I guess, for Christmas to help give him ideas. And top of the list every year is 123stitch.com and type in my email to find my wish list. <laughs> you could literally just order me some charts and I would be happy. So uh, that was one of the things he got me. He did the Country Cottage Needleworks. I believe these are charts four and nine of the Santa's Village because I did mention I needed the rest of them. And so I'll show those. This is Mrs. Claus's cookie shop. Love her. That's going to come in handy very soon. And like I said, I think this is chart number nine and it's Santa's sleigh works. Really cute. And then he also got me a chart I've been wanting for a while now. I don't know why I haven't ordered it, but so happy he got it for me. It's Little House Needleworks, The Old Red Barn. I have seen so many people stitch this on all different colored fabrics and it turns out beautiful every single time. I love it. I cannot wait. I think I'm going to save this and make it my birthday start for this year. Uh, my birthday is in February, so I think that's when I'm going to start this. It would be a fun, just a fun little birthday gift to myself. <laughs> And he got me all the floss that goes with both of those, or all three of those charts. So super excited about those. And then my mom and dad, my mom probably picked them out, honestly, but <laughs> um, it was from both of them. She found these, it's like a neck light and it says Easy Life. So I'm assuming that that's the brand. I should have asked her where she got them. I'm not sure. I'm going to assume Amazon, but if any of you would like to know, I will call and ask her and add it into the show notes. Um, but these are so great. She does a lot of crocheting and quilting. So for her, she uses it to sit in her chair and sew or crochet. And she thought they would be just as good for cross stitch. So I won't shine the light right at you guys. I don't want to blind you, but they are very bright. This is the high setting and then they have a low setting. I honestly can use the low setting and it's plenty of light. They're, oh, they're just so great. Um, I wear glasses when I stitch and so I, ha I don't like to have to strain and you don't realize how little natural lighting you have until you use something like this. Uh, they just take a double A in each side, so super easy to switch out. The batteries have lasted so far, and I've used it every day since Christmas. So get a pair. Your eyes will thank you. Seriously, these are amazing. Okay, and then I got a couple things for finishing that I randomly saw. I found this at Walmart in the... Uh, Christmas section they had everything marked down so I got it I don't remember what I paid for it but I remember it was a little bit cheaper than normal but I thought it would be really cute to put a finish on it's just tin and I'm not sure if I'll be able to pop this off this is just like a sticker painted on but I'm sure I could pop this off or I might be able to just cover right over it but I just thought this would be really cute to put something on I'm not sure what yet, but I will find a chart that will fit. 
And then, like I said, I went to Hobby Lobby the other day with my husband and I got this fabric, which is what I used on the back of the snowman. And a couple days before that, I had been online and they were having a fabric sale. I know they move their sale dates around and I just happened to log on that day. So I stocked up on some just basics that I know I will use quite a bit. This one is just a red ticking stripe fabric really cute. I'm obsessed with ticking stripes, so that will get used. And this is just a black and tan gingham. I thought this would be great for Halloween or even summery, farmy finishing. So those are cute. And last, now that a lot of us are following each other on Instagram, I've seen we have or a lot of us have similar decorating styles in our homes. And so I actually ordered something off of Etsy and I thought it would be fun to show you guys because I know you all would appreciate these. Um, the Etsy page is Tappy Lane Primitives. And look how cute this little snowman is. <laughs> so he's smaller. I will probably use him in a dough bowl with some other wintry pillows that match but how cute is his little face and then I also got this larger one I'm obsessed I love him so much I had told my husband I was looking at patterns on Etsy uh, I've seen a lot of shops sell patterns that you can make your own I'm not sure I'd be able to do that that's not something I've ever tried before I might eventually, but I found this shop that had them already made and I thought, why not? How cute. And whatever she, uh, I don't know if it's distressed or kind of, you know, dirties them up with, it smells like cinnamon. So these guys smell amazing. Really cute though. Just thought I would share that in case anybody else was inter interested. Um, again, it's Tappy Lane Primitives. I will link that in the show notes. Okay, sorry about that. My phone started ringing. Um, but that's all I have to show you guys today. Um, my next video will be in about two to three weeks. Like I said, I should have plenty done by then to show you. I just want to say again, thank you all so much for subscribing to my channel, watching my video, commenting. I, you have all been so welcoming. I really appreciate it. I love, I've gotten so many people recommending different floss tube channels. I found some new favorites. So that's been amazing. Um, hopefully I can continue to make videos and interact with you all. I really love that and that you keep enjoying what I'm showing you all. So until next time, I hope everyone stays safe. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday and I hope you get lots of stitching time in. All right, bye everyone. Okay, hopefully you're seeing this after the floss tube. Here's my cabinet. And I will give you a look inside. So these are mostly JP coats that I got as hand-me-downs. So I just have those in one big bag. Labeled Ziplocs. I have classic color works that I have not really used yet, just kind of down there. Here is the card that I use, just little index cards. I write down what's in there. So I just like to call it organized chaos, pretty much. But it works for me and that's all that matters. But I hope that gives you an idea and then the bottom drawers, I just keep fabric I use the most in them or seasonal fabrics. But I love that I'm able to have a piece of furniture be a storage unit basically for my stitching supplies. It's also really cute. Yeah, I hope that helps you guys.